it was still warm out there today through our inland valleys and up through the North Bay, but a little cooler than what we saw yesterday. Still at 90 degrees though in Concord, Pleasanton and Livermore. Up in the North Bay, we hit 94 degrees in Santa Rosa, which was 11 degrees above average for this time of year. Down in the South Bay, we were in the 80s. As we look ahead to tonight, the fog will be returning and it's going to be a little bit more widespread, mainly impacting the coastline and our bay shores. We will see sunshine though tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures will continue their slight cooling trend and then as we head into the weekend continued slight cooling. So here's a look at fog tracker for tomorrow morning out the door waking up to more fog than what we saw today. Patchy fog through the North Bay. Low clouds extending into the Livermore Valley as well as the South Bay through the six o'clock hour. That's where they'll remain by eight. Notice some clearing through the north. By 10 o'clock, the fog lingers along the East Bay shoreline, but then back to the coastline for the afternoon. So temperature wise at the coast, not much change over what we saw today. Low 60s coast side, 66 in San Francisco, 70s and 80s down the peninsula. For our East Bay shores, it'll be a mix of 60s and 70s for your Thursday. 68 in Alameda, 67 in Berkeley, 70 in San Leandro. Still pretty warm through our inland valleys, but definitely fewer 90s. We'll see upper 80s in places like Concord and Walnut Creek, 89 in Pleasanton, 91 though out in Antioch. For the South Bay, largely in the 80s. We'll see 83 in Sunnyvale, 82 in San Jose, 78 though in Mountain View, but 90 in Morgan Hill. And then up through the North Bay, fewer 90s here as well. Back into the 80s for the most part, 87 in Santa Rosa, 85 in Petaluma and 84 in Napa. A look at your extended forecast. Cooler tomorrow, cooler still into Friday and Saturday, but it's not very dramatic, just slight cooling. Temperatures level off into Sunday and Monday. We'll see fog through all of these days, but by Tuesday and Wednesday, less extensive fog coverage means 